Right guys, I've been trying to record one video for like two hours now. I wanted to show you how you can add NVIDIA Freestyle to any game and any emulator. And I was also showing you how to add reshade to NVIDIA Freestyle so you can use the reshade filters with NVIDIA Freestyle. I first done a dummy run because I know um, NVIDIA Shadow Play doesn't always record NVIDIA Freestyle. So I've done a test run, worked fine, 20 minutes gone, S saved the video. Uh, after the test run, but that was just a test run, so I thought, yep, yeah, that's fine, right, so I'll do a proper one. So when I done the proper one, it didn't record. So that's another 20 minutes wasted. Then I used action, which normally does work. That didn't record it either. So that's never 20 minutes wasted. <coughs> so now I done a run on OBS and that was working. So hopefully this one will actually work now. So guys, I'm gonna show you how to first get NVIDIA Freestyle to work on any game or any emulator. So I'm going to open up my file location. As you can see, my exe is renamed Batman AK, which is Batman Arkham Knight. This is the list of confirmed games that NVIDIA Freestyle will work on. But I actually contacted NVIDIA because I was the first one to ever actually get it to work on every game people were trying so many different stuff and all you have to do is rename the exe so it tricks the computer into thinking you're running that game so arkham knight's here but you can't just go arkham knight it has to be spelled the same as the exe so it's obviously capital b and capital a and k at the end so then it thinks you're playing that game and it'll let you use it. <coughs> so I've made a shortcut and just renamed it easy so I know what it's doing. But it'll only work on um, EXEs that are cracked, so you have to have one that works without the actual game, if you know what I mean. So if you get a crack game, obviously it works without opening Steam, Origin, New Play, and all that. But there's a couple games where I can't. These are it's not Unreal Engine. It's another engine. If you got this folder, go to dot hyphen data. If you rename this Batman AK. You just have to rename this bit as well, Batman AK, and then it's hyphen data, or <coughs> you know, whatever it is, you have to rename this data folder if you've got one. Most games don't, you know, like this one properties, open file location, it's just a normal one. But there's a couple that use a, uses a data folder. So now you've renamed that, the video freestyle will now work on the emulator. And now I'm going to show you how to add reshade to the video freestyle. So, first of all, we're going to install reshade. and you can install it to anything because we're going to move the files after so i'm only using the basic one for simple fact is all my filters that i like are on this one so you browse to the game that you want i'm using aim track open and on easy i'm using Vulkan api I'm going to install all of them. Okay. 
been a bloody club, but that's why I haven't even answered my emails yet. I did this morning, but not yet tonight. Because I've been doing a lot of videos of all the games that run at 8k and higher. Right, so now that's done. You open up the folder where you installed Reshade. So right click. Properties. Open file location. There's other ways to do it, but I find that's the quickest. Now you have to open your C drive. Go to program files. And find the video corporation. When the video said this does work, it says you have a folder in there called Ansel. It's never in there. So right click, new folder, and name it Ansel. So it's capital A N S E L. Ansel. Open that up. First of all, you want to move the reshade I and I across. Then go into the reshade shaders, go into textures. I don't even know if it needs these, it doesn't actually say, but I always move them across anyway. Then on the next one, open your shaders. And move them all in as well. I'm just going to take off, reshade off of here because I don't need it on here. Because I got to send back my sense bar anyway because it doesn't even light up. Right, so now that's in your Ansel folder. We can now open Yuzu or Batman AK. This might not load the first time because my hard drive's probably gone to sleep. Make sure you go to full screen. Then mine to Alt F3. I think it's Alt F8, I think. But you have to check your free cell options. So if I press my Alt 3, I'll take these off to start, start with. Right, this is running at 8K. Then so go to Add Filter. These are the filters you've got, and there's loads of them. Only about 60% of them work normally. And once you click on them, you have a drop down menu. I'm right, we'll get rid of that one. You've got things like FXAA, DPX is never a good one. But I'm going to put on fake HDR which I like and then the main filter I really like is a filter called detail remember probably only 60% will work but detail works lovely and if you look in the I don't know if you can see me mouse from the right hand side by the crowd you can't see them very well when I turn up clarity, they get a lot more vibrant and you see a lot more detail on them. And you've also got HDR on here, even though I like that one. And done.
guys. Uh, it, if you take them up, it's a lot <laughs> crappier. mouse I don't know if it actually works on you I haven't tried it some <laughs> games you want your you know to see where your mouse is like the light gun games um, <laughs> so when you come out you should go see your mouse oh yeah okie dokie You've also got another one cursor. I don't know if that one works. See you. Okie dokie. If it's here, yeah. Okie dokie. No, that one didn't work because it's a different one than that. Okie dokie. On the cursor front. Okie dokie. So there you go, guys. That's how to add it all to your games. Okie dokie. And this one runs fine at 8k. <laughs> I forgot, I've got to get out of um, OBS. 